Hard to believe we are 48 hours after election night, and now we are taking a closer look at the results. In the state's most populated county, a tussle played out between Democrats and Republicans, with results indicating Ada County's color is changing. Our Morgan Boyston is here to shed some light on what these results say about the makeup of Ada County. Mark and Kim numbers show Ada County leans slightly more to the right in this year's governor's race than it did four years ago. But that being said, Democrats flipped a couple legislative seats and gained more ground in other races. They even picked up two seats on the Ada County Board of Commissioners. We had a tremendous turnout. We see it everywhere in terms of route, but particularly here in Ada County. A midterm. That looked more like a presidential election. Unofficial results showing more than 78% of registered Ada County voters turned out. It, it looks to be that the young, young voters had to turn out a little bit higher than usual. More people voted on election day compared to the presidential election two years ago. But the percentage of voter turnout isn't higher. Part of that's the interest in this election. The other part is just a reflection of the growth. We have more people here in the Treasure Valley. Growth has an interesting role. Out of state growth seems to be just amplifying the patterns, you know, partisanship we already have in the state. We're seeing people who have more Democratic leaning values move into Boise, right, and then to the eastern side of the town. Uh, whereas people moving into Eagle and Meridian, you see those places actually becoming more conservative. Ada County is not seismically shifting red or blue. I think there's more of a reflection of the tussle. Ada County Chief Deputy Clerk Phil McGrain says it's becoming more purple. Ada County was almost 50-50. Paulette Jordan won Ada County, but only by 1%. I mean, that was neck and neck between the two of them. These maps showing 2014 Democratic contender A.J. Belukoff won Ada County by a larger percent than Jordan did. But a reflection of turnout and growth, statewide, Jordan got way more votes than Belukoff, almost the same number Otter had in 2014. This is where it reflects that difference between A.J. Belukoff and Paulette Jordan is Ada County actually shifted more Republican in the governor's race mm -hmm this cycle than it was four years ago. That's an interesting thing too, because we saw other races like the county commission where it shifted more Democratic. Now, two of the three Ada County commissioners are female Democrats, which pundits say is historic. People are looking for a change, that they're concerned about growth. And in Legislative District 15, two House seats went from R to D, and the Senate race was so tight, there's a recount. So I shifted a little bit more to the Democratic Party than everyone expected. And presumably, like some of those districts will become more Democratic over time, as we've seen other districts shift um, across time, across the city. Apart from those shifts, wow. this election showed again Idaho as a whole is still deeply red. McGrain says they're still counting same day registrations and we'll have a bigger overall picture of turnout in a couple months. Their focus right now is on that District 15 recount, as I mentioned, as well as potentially a recount of the CWI levy vote because that was so tight as well. Mark and the numbers back up how deeply red the gem state is. Registered Republicans outnumber registered Democrats four to one. Wow. That's All right, Morgan, thanks. Mm -hmm.